Today is the final day of Pride Month and to close out this time of recognition, digital storyteller William Winnett and I are sharing the story of Jackie Walker. He was a trailblazing VFL who paved the way for future generations with his on field prowess and his tremendous courage. He's right there at the pinnacle of anybody and everybody that played at Tennessee. VFL and Knoxville native Jackie Walker is forever immortalized with a statue outside of Neyland Stadium. It was an honor that for a long time seemed impossible. Walker began his football career at Fulton High School as a linebacker, where he gained a reputation as a powerhouse on the field after a particularly mammoth tackle. I believe you could have heard it on Broadway. I've never heard anything like it, that collision. Walker took his on-field talents down the road to play for the University of Tennessee. He was one of the very first African-American players to don the orange and white, a fact that did not sit well with some players who wore the same colors. Within the team, there was factions of people that were adamantly opposed to him being there. Not only did Jackie battle against the team, but he did so against the fans as well. Now, fans are screaming the N-word, you know, they're screaming the N-word. Walker let his skills on the gridiron speak for him, and by his junior year at UT, he was voted as the first black All-American in Southeastern Conference history. By his senior year, he had won over his teammates, and they voted him captain of the team, besting fellow Vol Philip Fulmer in the process. It's a great honor to be a leader among the team, and I think it's a tough job, and I'm happy that I may get a chance to fulfill it. Regardless of his success on the field, finding acceptance off the field was a struggle for Jackie. During his senior year, rumors began to swirl about Walker's sexuality. And after a breakup with his girlfriend, the truth came to light. And he said, um, Melanie um, didn't have him. I said, didn't have him what? He said, and that's when he told me he told her, you know, that he was gay. While Walker never publicly came out as gay during his time at UT, after his final season, his teammates and coaches knew. Jackie helped to lead the Vols to an SEC championship in 1969, as well as a 1971 Liberty Bowl victory. He shares the NCAA record for most interceptions returned for a touchdown with five. He was drafted by the San Francisco 49ers deep into the sixth round in the 1972 NFL Draft, but was dropped before the season began. A friend of Jackie's said he told him he was cut because the organization discovered his sexuality. This claim was never substantiated. Walker gave up his football dreams and moved to Atlanta in 1974, where he worked for the city. In 1998, he was diagnosed with HIV and died of AIDS on December 5, 2002. With all his accolades on the field, Jackie's brother Marshall figured he would be a shoe-in for Hall of Fames and made it his mission to have his brother enshrined. It's going to happen one day. I said, but I'm going to keep doing to the day I die. But by 2008, Jackie Walker had still not received any accolades for his time on the turf. I'm presuming because of um, his sexual preference, that that's the reason. I mean, I can't think of any other reason why he wouldn't be in there. Marshall stayed the course, and in July that year, Jackie Walker finally got the recognition he deserved. Jackie Walker. Walker was inducted into the Greater Knoxville Sports Hall of Fame. Jackie is as deserving to be in this Hall of Fame as anybody that's ever been inducted. For Marshall, his brother's induction came with overwhelming emotion. Pride, dignity. Uh, history that won't go away. In 2011, Jackie Walker also was inducted into the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. And in 2021... All four represent a very significant first in the storied history of Southeastern Conference football. Lester McLean, the late Jackie Walker, Condridge Holloway, and T. Martin have all bared the torch. A ceremony at Neyland Stadium to honor the Tennessee Volunteers' African-American pioneers included the unveiling of four new statues. Among them was Jackie Walker. Today, that statue stands outside Gate 21, overlooking the field that Jackie once called home. 
Now, over the last month, we have uncovered many stories just like Walker's, and we want to make sure they get the justice they deserve. So right now on WBIR.com, you can learn more about Jackie Walker and all of our Pride Month coverage.